just um, reiterate uh, the zone that you were playing in tonight. You said that you wanted to start with energy, but we saw it throughout the entire game, um, which you said that you wanted to play with. Um, my teammates responded to me. Um, I was just going through the hoop. <laughs> um, and they had confidence in me, so they kept coming back to me. Um, I was just trying to make the right plays. Uh, shots are just falling. When did you realize that it was just your night, you were going to have one of those nights? Um, I actually said something to shoot around early this morning. I was like, it's going to be a good day. Everybody was locked in and shoot around. There was no horse playing. There was no playing, no laughing around. Everybody was just locked in. So I knew, I told JJ, I was like, it's going to be a good day today for everybody. It showed. <laughs> so not only did you have a stellar, um, you know, performance on the offensive end, but you were using that vocal uh, aspect of your leadership as well, seeing you grow and blossom in so many different ways tonight. How were you as well as Colin able to just finish this one off uh, with the team? Um, I mean, just having that mindset that you have to finish games. Uh, you know that our second halves aren't as strong against our first most of the time. So just coming out in the second half, we just had to come out with a lot of energy and just play the play the way that we were playing the first half. And that was with pace, speed, uh, swinging the ball around, getting open looks. So we just kept preaching that throughout the second half. Ashley. Ashley Bastock, Akron Beacon Journal. Darius, you know, JB talks so much about confidence ultimately leading to consistency. So I guess the fact that you performed the way you did like 17 days against the Spurs, I guess how much was that in your mind coming into this one and giving you maybe some added confidence? Yeah, um, confidence is our biggest thing this year. So just uh, just wanted to come out with aggression. Um, I watched the film from the last, I came out with the same intensity. So I wanted to come do the same thing tonight. And, um, I mean, we had K-Love, which is a big difference this time around. So it opened up the floor a lot more. And I said, we've been building the past so well. So, I mean, everything was just opening up. And, uh, the ball was moving. Players were moving, so we were just getting a lot of open looks. And it was just following me. And I know you mentioned Kevin, but Isaiah and Torian, too, with what they were able to do in that second unit, I guess, how did that help you, you know, facilitate more? And how did that help you guys overall offensively? Yeah, um, like I said, ball and player movement. Um, I say he can pass it so well, and TP just coming off the bench with that spark, his scoring ability, um, I mean, it just opens everything up for everyone else. And then last one from me, just I know recently, I think like last week or something, you talked about, you know, the importance of transition for you in the offense, and I know to outscore them the way you guys did in fast break points tonight, I guess just how did that impact you, or what impact did you feel it had? Um, just getting the ball across early. Um, just sets up the offense, gets us into our offense a lot earlier. Um, we don't have to get into butter situations, what we call them. That's just late clock situations. So, I mean, when the ball is moving, players move, you get easy buckets early on in the shot clock. So, that was all. Fedor. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Darius. What do these kinds of nights mean for you? In, in the evolution of your career? Uh, just give me confidence and showing the ability that I have. Um, and nights like this is just something that everyone looks forward to in their career. And I hope I can just keep continuing to do this on a nightly basis, just having the confidence that I have tonight. What is the key to building on this and making sure that JB was talking about consistency? making sure you have that consistency going forward into Oklahoma City? Um, I'm just going to go back and watch the field, um, keep my confidence high, uh, just to show that I know I can do this on a nightly basis. Um, just, keep from play, just keep playing how I've been playing. If shots go that night, shots go. If they're not going, you still got to figure out how to get a win. It's 12 other players on this team. It's not just me, so 
all have to learn it. We all brought it tonight. In any way, was it a different kind of mindset for you coming into this one? I mean, you spoke earlier this morning about the importance of getting off to a good start. And then you talked about how important it was to carry that over into the third quarter and the first and the third were the two best quarters that you had individually. So was there a different mindset from you going into those? Um, yeah, I just tried to pick the tempo up in the first and the third. Um, just try to get easy buckets, try to get everybody involved early. And, um, like I said, Caleb and Dean, that first group, it opens up a lot of things because they can shoot the ball so well and they can pass it. So it's getting easy looks, uh, a lot of swing, swing action for threes. Like I said, they just went in the rim. And they hooked tonight. Chris Manning. There is Chris Manning from SB Nation. Going back to the bubble, you know, JB and you guys all talked about how you guys were putting stuff on film that you wanted to run in the season offensively. Kevin obviously then missed a bunch of time. Do you, are you guys now kind of running more of, in your mind, more of what you thought you might be running coming into the season when everyone was healthy before everything kind of went sideways in that regard? Yeah, I should have been running the same stuff from the bubble. <laughs> but Ken Love's just in those positions now. And, um, Ability to stretch the floor it helps us a lot. It's me and Bull and Isaac getting paid a lot. So having Caleb and Dean out there in the perimeter that can knock down shots, it opens up everything. Um, and just with Kevin, just from your perspective, do you, JB mentioned that teams are will just pay more attention because he's Kevin Love and like there's just the threat of him. Do you, do you notice that too from your spot on the floor? Yes, every yeah. night. Okay. Every night. Yes. yes. I mean, all attention is on Caleb. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer. It has to put all eyes on Caleb. Thanks. All right. Oh, Angel, yes, no. Just one last one. You were talking about uh, the presence of Kevin Love. Well, Isaiah was trying to take a couple of his rebounds um, on the floor. Did you see that? And, <laughs> yeah. and what's the message there? What was the message? There was no message. He just went for the rebound. <laughs> One of them got in, another one didn't notice that shit. I saw them playing around at the end of the game a bit, just having both of them on the floor, you know, learning each other as well. Um, just what have you seen and how they've been able to play off of one another? Yeah, um, their connection is starting to grow now. Um, and they're just seeing the feel for each other. Um, you know, Isaiah can pass it. I mean, it shocks a lot of people, especially from that five spot. So. And K Love, he's expecting a lot of swing, swing action, pick and roll action with Isaiah now. So it's super cool to see.